Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 48 in our incredible new tutorial series where you are learning artificial intelligence on the Jetson Nano. I'm going to need you to pour yourself a nice big mug of iced coffee. And I'm going to need you to get ready to fix one of those nagging little problems that we have had over the last six or seven lessons. What we are going to do is we are going to learn how to get the IntelliSense and Autocomplete feature in uh, Code OSS or Visual Studio working on the Jetson Nano. Now probably what you noticed is it worked on Jetpack 4.3 and then when we moved to Jetpack 4. Point, uh, it worked on Jetpack 4.2 but then when we moved to Jetpack 4.3 it stopped working. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go in and figure out how to fix that and I want to give a shout out to the most excellent David Westmoreland because he actually sent me a message on how to fix it. It had really bugged me because like if you're typing in a NumPy command in Visual Studio, it pops up and finishes the command and then it pops up and it shows you the parameters that go in and the thing that kind of bugs me about Visual Studio is sometimes it wants the parameter in the terms X comma Y so you just put in the parameter comma X comma Y and sometimes it wants it as a tuple open parenthesis X comma Y close parenthesis I always have trouble remembering which one it is and it slows me down when I am trying to get uh, when I'm trying to code in front of you guys so Thanks to the most excellent uh, David Westmoreland for sending me this little tip. And what we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to do that. So I will need you to hop on over and get out your Jetson Nano gear. And while you're getting it out, as always, I want to give a shout out to you guys who are helping me out over at Patreon. Huge encouragement to me. You guys that are not helping out yet, look down in the description. There is a link over to my Patreon account. Think about hopping on over there and hooking a brother up. But enough of this shameless self-promotion. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can figure out how to get this wor working. So let's go ahead and let's open up our Visual Studio code. And I am in the meantime going to get out of your way. And we come up with a brand new fresh Visual Studio. I'm going to tell you guys too. Right, in the last couple of lessons we upgraded to Jetpack 4.3. I've gone ahead now and I've upgraded to Jetpack 4.4. I'm not going to do a video on it because we flashed the first card. We flashed the 4.3. You guys can figure out 4.4 on your own. 4.4 does come with NumPy installed with Python and so you don't need to go in and install NumPy like we did and so when you go to Jetpack 4.4 it should open up with Python 3.6 or whatever already there the right NumPy and the right OpenCV you shouldn't have to do anything the only thing that you should have to do are the things that you like like if you want to turn your sudo password off or if you want to uh, if you want to make it a one-click machine and those types of things you can do those things if you want but really all you're gonna to have to do is install Visual Studio and I've done two lessons on installing Visual Studio so you should be able to figure it out but this fix that I'm giving you should work on either Jetpack 4.3 or Jetpack 4.4 because in fact both of those the autocomplete or the IntelliSense doesn't seem to be working and so let's come over here and let me see if I can show you that let me get a most simple uh, piece of code here and like if I just come down here and let's say I were going to put in a command uh, cv2 dot and you see it's not like it's not recognizing any of the cv2 commands it is not recognizing any of the cv2 commands and so that is kind of a bother so what you got to do is you got to figure out where your open cv is installed so you're going to open a terminal and this is the command from the most excellent david westmoreland uh, i hope i can get that command let's see here I have it over here. Let's try this one. Hopefully this will recognize it. Okay, there it is. 
oh man you guys need a bigger view let me just pause here and make this bigger I've gone to jetpack but I didn't change my font on this so let's see custom font and I want you guys to have a good experience here I want you to really be able to see what I am typing so let's make it nice and big okay that's too big but now I guess you really can't make it too big because you guys might not have a huge screen so let's see here that's probably a good size right about like that and I will close this sorry I didn't have that done beforehand but you do dpkg space minus uppercase L space L I B O P E N C V dash Python and that will allow you to see where your path is okay and so down here this is my path now the actual package is here you don't want the package you just want the path to the package so you would get this much user lib python 3.6 disk package cv2 slash python 3.6 that is my path so i'm going to copy that your path might be different but i'm just saying you stop before you get to the file so i'm going to copy this much because i will need it okay and now we are going to come over here uh, we are going to come over here to Visual Studio and I'm going to get this nonsense out of the way okay don't say because I deliberately put a, a mistake in there we want to get to our preferences so control shift and P all at the same time and then what we are going to search on is we are going to search on preferences preferences and then colon and the preferences that I want are open space settings and then you see these preferences open settings JSON okay that was a little bit fast let me do that again control I don't like it when it jumps out of your way too fast okay do you see preferences colon open settings JSON you want to go there okay now what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to type in the following and you got to do it very very careful okay so we are going to do it like this let me you know what I'm going to cheat a little bit and you know what I'll do is I'll put these I'll put these uh, commands in uh, in the description down below if I say this before I posted it sometimes it doesn't like commands in a description it's either going to be in the description or it'll be in a comment pinned to the top okay of this video but let's copy these two from the most excellent David Westmoreland and what we need is we need those commands here in our JSON file they need to go between the open curly and the close curly and so I'm gonna paste these things now what I have to make sure is and you have to make sure is is that this matches our path and so if I come back over here and once again I've lost the window that I want here it is and so let me get this where we can see it okay so this does in fact match that and it looks like it probably doesn't matter but we don't put the trailing we don't put the trailing slash right so we're just going to get right up to here and we're going to put that right there okay now that is I do believe what we need to do let me just look over this and make sure that we have uh, everything that we need that looks good we've got those two commands alright so now let's save this JSON file and what I find is when you change a configuration like this it's usually a good idea to come in and kill it and then open it again I really hope this works it worked when I tried it so we are opening up again and now we're going to go ahead and close that <clears throat> JSON file we're going to come down to a very simple open CV and then we're going to come here and just type in a CV command so I'm going to say CV2 dot re and let's see if it gets it 
and it doesn't get it. Oh yeah, now it just took a second to find it. So let's say resize, okay, and that's it. It says resize, and then if I come here like this, boom, it comes up and it shows me the things I want. Scared me there for a second, but I think it just took a second to file that, uh, to find that, uh, you know, that that uh, file that showed it what the allowed commands are. And so, guys, this is going to make life a whole lot easier if you have that autocompleter IntelliSense working. And so, again, many thanks to David Westmoreland because I would pulled my hair out over this. I mean, I had really, really, really tried hard to figure it out, and I looked all over the internet and I couldn't find a solution so I'm really glad that we have this and we'll be moving forward with some really exciting lessons in the future but wanted you guys to get uh, up to date here so you might ought to think about going on over to Jetpack 4.4 getting your code OSS installed which you should know how to do now and then getting this IntelliSense working so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, a little bit of a short one. I did enjoy very little coffee during the lesson, but I will have two coffees here to finish afterwards. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. This is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.